Uh, this is a demonstration of using the zonal pressure features in Tektite 4.0, and that's a free download from the energyconservatory.com website. And on the upper left here, the first pull down menu file, we'll go to new test with custom configuration, and we've already got a configuration file um, set up that has our company name and logo, our local climate character characteristics and our uh, fuel information um, because those are the same on most houses um, we could change the, the heating efficiency or the cooling efficiency based on on details of those houses but there's some default settings now I'm continue to click next down here to get to the test graph page once we're to the test graph page um, our method is set to auto uh, automated test and our test standard is set to CSGB, and we'll need that test standard in order to, to use the zonal pressures feature. So we'll activate the zonal pressures, I'll click on settings. Um, so P3 will activate uh, P3, and we'll name that garage. And, and now we're doing garage with reference to outside. So we've got one outside reference and we teed off of that um, and, uh, and connected all of our uh, references to outside. So, and then we'll activate P4, pressure four on our second gauge. And um, we're going to call that DATIC. And that again is with reference to outside. We could click inside if we're referencing inside, but, but uh, I would prefer to, to um, always reference outside. Okay, and then um, we'll need to um, we'll need to tell the software which gauge uh, is our primary gauge, our blower door gauge. So we'll go up to options. The second pull down menu is options, com port selection. And uh, the default is, is for one, one uh, COM port only, so we'll have to uh, unclick that. And then we'll have to scan for ports and devices. And click Start Scan. And the DG700 has it shipped with the serial number on it. Serial numbers are written on the back of the gauge, and what it'll display are the first digits before the dash on the serial number. And this... Um, uh, first one that came up happens to be our primary gauge, the blower door gauge. Uh, serial number 23757 is COM port 11. So we'll have to write that down, COM port 11. And we'll go down, here's our next gauge, 8778 is COM17. So we'll have to remember that or write it down, COM11 primary, COM17 auxiliary. Click OK. So our primary is COM11, our auxiliary is 17, and click OK. So now our, our gauges are configured. We'll go next to the test graph page. Now it's going to be scanning for our connected devices. Once it turns green and says idle monitoring, we're ready to start our test. So it's, it's showing us what our current um, garage and attic pressures are here and which gauge um, is assigned to those, and um, and it's showing our our um, our building baseline number here, and which gauge is connected to those. So we're going to hit start test here on the right. Start test, and it's prompting us for our indoor and outdoor temperatures. And we're at about 70. And we're at about 45 outside. Click OK. Now it's prompting us to uh, cover our fan inlet to take our baseline reading. And as soon as we click OK, it's going to start recording the baseline readings. Um, so you can see it's going to take 100, um, sampling 100 data points and uh, averaging those for our pretest baseline. Now it's prompting us to uh, uh, set up our appropriate flow ring. Um, we're ready to go, and we used uh, ring A. Proceeding test. So now it's adjusting the fan for 50 pascals. I'm going to help it along a little bit here to, to speed up the test. We're going to ramp it up to uh, uh, 50 pascals as our first target. And we'll click 
sample to help it along here a little bit to speed up the test. Um, and now it's plotting, um, it's plotting 100 uh, data points right around 50 there. It's fairly calm day, so it's there's not too much scatter. Um, now it's adjusting for uh, for 45, our second data point, and it's going to plot eight data points between 50 and 15 pascals. Now it's searching for 40. Sampling data. And um, the CGSB um, also does um, a uh, post-test baseline. So it'll do two baseline readings, one at the start and one at the completion of the test and average those two readings. For the baseline. And um, on a calm day, uh, like today, is fairly calm. There's a little bit of variation you can see as it's plotting the points, but these, um, these points are all falling pretty well on a line. Um, And, um, and this is a log-log graph. Um, you can see that the distance between um, 50 and 60 is a lot different. <laughs> it's not proportional to the distance between 4 and 5. So pretty calm day today. We're getting a little bit of fluctuation um, in our wind, but uh, but not too much. We're we're falling uh, um, pretty well. Um, it's taking 100 samples. We're on our last data point, and then uh, we'll have to cover our inlet for. To take a baseline and it'll prompt us to do that. Um, and then our assistant has our cover. As soon as you click OK there, it's going to start taking samples. So, so you want to make sure and get that covered before you click sample. Um, so now our, our points are fitting uh, pretty well on a line. Um, it's displaying what our our last pressures were there, and we're going to go to next to see what the test results are. And we're going to want to make sure our co correlation coefficient is, gives you an idea of the precision of the test, how well they all fit on the line, and uh, you want that number to be above 0.99. If it's not above 0.99, you can go back to previous and start the test again. And what it'll do is it'll it'll uh, it'll add more data points to the same um, data we've collected already. And typically when you get additional data points, um, that, uh, uh, that helps. Or you can also adjust the fan adjust rate and um, um, target tolerance to, to, get, um, to get that going a little better. And you can go up to the help menu. The help menu in Tektite is actually pretty good. Um, and it'll give you hints uh, on every page you're on its specific information related to that page. Um, so um, now we'll take a look at our report. So we'll go up to File, Preview Report, and we'll look at our Zone Data Report. Um, pull that up a little bit so you can see it. And you know, um, our you know all of our our data numbers are between one and seven pascals here, and and it's fairly calm day, so they're all falling, you know, fairly well 
in a, you know, these lines, these slopes look pretty good. There's a, there's a few outliers, but uh, but most of the data points are pretty close, and that's pretty good considering we're measuring um, with reference to outside, and our our pressure numbers are pretty low. Um, um, so this is is uh, uh, calculate our, our our zone to outside at 50. It looks like 3.5 for the garage and and um, about 2.7 for for the house. That um, so if you know if we're if we're always going I'm going to go back to our comport selection if we're always going to be um, using these additional comports then then we can leave this setup here and and we can set it up like that in our configuration file uh, if if we typically um, are going to only use one, then it's best to go up to uh, go go up to options and uh, before you shut down the software, uh, click that auto select button again. So then the next time it'll be just looking for one gauge. Um, it'll be just looking for one gauge instead of multiple gauges. So that's uh, the conclusion of our demonstration of using uh, the zonal pressure feature of TechType 4.0.